Bismillah. So after we discussed how to program the PLC uh, controlling the light loop in uh, manual control, on off control, P control, now we are at the PID control. And uh, this is the same slide from the one with the Arduino, just to remind you what's a PID control. It's if I multiply the error, which is the set point minus the PV, if I multiply it by a gain, uh, a KP or a P gain, this is my P control or proportional control. If I add this result with the error, uh, uh, the integration of the error or the area under the curve of the error, uh, and multiplied by also a gain, this is the integration uh, part of the controller. And if I take the rate of change of the error multiplied by a gain, this is the D part of a PID. I add all of those and give it to uh, my actuator, and this will affect my, uh, which is in this case the LED, and this will change the light. Uh, my process, I'm, I'm reading the value through an LDR and so on, and it continues. So this is a continuous operation. Uh, uh, remember this, this is a continuous operation. Since the PLC is a digital thing, we need to add a time to add uh, to do this. That's why we will see in the PLC, I have to uh, go to the, to the cyclic uh, function, and we will see how we'll implement a PID in, in the, the PLC. And this is just to show you uh, the screen that HMI created for the PID compact. I still have the set point. I still have the PV. The new things I add, I still have the trend. Uh, I'm having the value of the P uh, control or the KP and the value for the TI or the KI uh, of, my, uh, of my PID compact, which is... If finding those values is really all what about tuning a loop, is finding the correct value so that my PLC will behave uh, correctly. Uh, let's go to the PLC. Uh, I'll show you how, how this is, is done. G give me a moment. Let's go back to the PLC. In order to use a PLC, I have to add, to double click this, and add a cyclic interrupt. By the way, Siemens, they have a very nice video, uh, automation in 10 minutes or less, show you how to use the PID Compact. They have actually two videos to show you how to use the PID Compact. So I recommend that you watch those videos. So I'm creating a cyclic interrupt. A cyclic interrupt is whatever inside, whatever code inside this routine, it will be uh, it, it will be executed every uh, 0.1 millisecond, I think. If I click here, cyclic interrupt, every 100 millisecond. So every 100 millisecond, whatever you have inside here, it will be implemented. So uh, I, I put it the, the comparison, the one, the screen number. So if, it, if I'm pressing uh, the PID or the PI uh, button in the, P, in the HMI, if it is 5, then this will be true. And to add the PID compact, you just go to the technologies and uh, PID control and you use PID compact. Uh, by the way, I'm using PID compact version one. Uh, if you are using version two or more, uh, probably will be something a little bit different here. Uh, here uh, for the set point, I'm entering my set point. I'm creating the one and this is tagged to my HMI. Uh, my input now, it's directly the input uh, uh, the, the analog input. So if I'm using the analog input, I will use the input percentage. Uh, and my output, I'm using the analog output percentage because I'm connected it to the analog output. If you have different value, if you have a real value, you can use input and output. How to tell him what to use? You just click here at this button. This is the configuration window of the PI. So if we go to the configuration, we see this is the basic setting, what type of controller you can choose, what type is temperature, pressure, length, and even the unit that you are using, and the parameter from here, the value we just spoke about. Do I need to use the percentage or the input? Do I need to use the output percentage or the output password modulation? So from here, you choose what you want to do. Now, this is my process input value. Uh, 
my my input limit, my process low limit is zero, and my high value is ten. Remember, yes, I'm working with the light intensity, but I'm dealing with it as a voltage, so I'm zero to ten volt. So the process value scaling, I'm this is the output of the 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 PLC. I'm saying if I need uh, a ten. Uh, give me 27,000 at the output. If I need a zero, uh, if I'm uh, sorry, if I'm reading 27,000, mean uh, give me 10 uh, 10 10 uh, scale high of the output. And if it is zero, give me zero. This is a value monitoring. Uh, now the output value percentage zero 100 percent, and the PID parameters. I enabled manual entry. I'm looking for this. A P gain, the proportional gain, the integral action time. And from here, you can choose, do you want a PI or a PID? I chose to have a PI. So remember this proportional gain, and this is the number. I want to enter this number from the HMI. So back to the HMI, if I go back to my HMI, this is where the proportional gain, and this is the integral action uh, gain. How to uh, put it here? I'll just right click on here, properties, and in the properties, I will tag it. I'll go to a technology object and I'll find the PID compact. I just add it in the cyclic interrupt. If you go to this one, I will find here uh, the proportional gain, actual proportional gain, and for the other one, the actual integration time, and this is the actual derivative time if I'm using D. So I'll, I'm tagging those uh, those values to this this IO so that I can manually enter those value and change this value and detune my PID. Uh, what I'm having here, I'm just uh, creating a text field so that uh, because this is a, a compact version one, I have to turn the PID on. Uh, so I'm doing it through this IO field. Now, uh, let's go to the watch table and let's see. I'm pressing a PI and my screen selection is actually five. And I already tuned the system, but let's see. Uh, I'll change my set point is now, uh, I'm changing the set point. Let me use five. And sorry, I didn't add here. I don't need this anymore. This is for the P control. So I'll add the values I want. The PI set point, this is what I want. And I already have the PV. That's it. I only need the PI set point. So now my set point is five. Look to my PV is 4.99. I'll change it. I'll put 5.6. So my set point is 5.6. The PLC, the PID compact actually change uh, the analog output so that it will go to 5.6. And look, it goes right away. If you can see the trend, uh, actually, I'll show you a, vid, uh, a glimpse of, of the trend, how it works. Uh, you can see it's directly, it's following in the matching. I'll change it back to a 7. My set point is seven. You can see right away my PV and the error is almost zero. Actually, the error is zero. So my uh, my PID compact is working and is working fine. Uh, the only thing, I, other thing I want to show you, sorry, if I go to uh, my cyclic interrupt, if I click here on this, the commission window, I'll start the sampling time. And you will notice here, I'm having, the system is tuned. I already tuned the system. 
and you can notice here uh, my set point, my input, and my output. So even if I change it now, I'll put it to 8 volts. Enter. You will notice how the, also the, the, the intensity of the LED is changing and having exactly a PV of 8. And, and I can see it here. I just want to show you that I can tune the system or pre-tune it, just uh, finely tune it or pre-tune it and click start. So it will do uh, the the uh, it will do the tuning. And you can see here, probably I need to have another color for this one. I'll choose black, probably. So black, and I'll choose uh, the scaled input. I'll choose probably red for this one. So you can see here really how the system, how my set point is changing and how my PV is actually following. I'll give it another try. So let me uh, change. Now I have my set point at five. My uh, PV is actually 4.9. Uh, wonderful. Now let me check, let me change the set point. I'll put it 9.5, 9 .5. and you can see right away my LED brightness change. My input is going to there slowly, and if you see here, this is the 5 volt I change, and now it's going to 9.5, and the values uh, I want to show you also uh, if I go to the commissioning, this is the tuned value uh, the PLC came with. So he, he chose to have a proportion gill of 10 and an action time of 1.2 so that I can have uh, a smooth reaction like the one I have here. If I take the legend off, you can see how the system is, is actually responding uh, to the set point. So with the PID control, I don't have uh, any error. I'm going there smoothly based on the value you are using and the tuning is actually just matter of uh, pressing a start. Uh, I, I will show you actually uh, I'll choose fine tuning because it is near. So if I'm choosing a uh, fine tuning you can see here the process of the tuning and we should see normally if, uh, if it's not tuned you will see the LED is uh, flashing till the system fine uh, the right value and we'll choose that value and I can enter those values from uh, uh, the HMI uh, so uh, next uh, I'll show you just uh, how the, the screen will look like how my HMI look like and how my graphs look like and uh, you notice now that the LED's value is changing the PLC is using its technique to find uh, the correct value in order to tune uh, tune the loop so it's really easy. It's really just uh, focusing about uh, about your loop, and uh, the PLC is doing most of the work. So this is my HMI. Uh, as you can see, I'm now in the manual. I can enter any value for uh, the control output, 55%. Pressing enter, and you can see right away uh, the PV value is changing. I will click on on off control. And you see now the PV is actually uh, changing its value. So you notice now the PV is jumping between five, which is ma makes sense. My system is now uh, an on off P control. And we can see the trend. Uh, the previous one was the on off, but uh, I, I don't think you can see it. It's a white and black. And uh, this is this is the P gain. Uh, I think this is just because the value. I'll enter one. And going to the PI control. 
now I'm at the PI control. I'll choose it as an automatic. Sorry. Auto, enter. And you can notice right away my PV is going to my set point till it reach the value. But I'll change my set point. 5.5. And we can notice right away my, uh, sorry, change it to 5. Point, uh, point 5.5 so we can see the PV is right away going and you can see the dashed white line is really following uh, uh, the, the the black line or, or, or sorry the black line is really following the dashed white line the dashed white line is my set point and the black line is really my uh, my PV so this is how my uh, HMI look like, and this is how my HMI behave. And uh, that's it. That's it for today. Thank you.